We are back answering your eviction and hope program questions with Isaac Sturgill with Legal Aid of North Carolina and Haley Pfeiffer Haynes with North Carolina's Office of Recovery and Resiliency. Isaac, this person says, can a landlord charge you for every day that you're late after the due date and a 5% late fee? So no, they cannot. So there are strict limits on how much a landlord can charge for a late fee in North Carolina. And there's also limits on when the landlord can charge it. So first of all, a landlord cannot charge your late fee until the rent is at least uh, five, uh, more than five days late. So they can charge it on the sixth. And also the landlord cannot charge more than either $15 or 5% of the rent, which whichever one is greater. And for subsidized tenants, like if you have a section eight voucher, the 5% has to be based off of your individual portion. So if a landlord was charging the 5% and then was also charging an additional amount for every day after that, that would be an illegal late fee provision. Uh, the tenant would be entitled to get that money back from the landlord and possibly also civil penalties against the landlord for breaking the law. All right, so Legal Aid of North Carolina can help you clarify that and it is a free phone call and we have that information in the two wants to know section right now for you. Um, Haley, this person says, if I have received hope rental assistance but not utility assistance, what do I do? Well, unfortunately, um, Right now, there is no solution from the HOPE program to get assistance. Um, when people applied, they had to be behind on their rent or the utilities, and that is what we qualified them on, and all of our funding has been fully subscribed. Now, there could be other uh, sources to get help on your utilities. Um, I would encourage them to contact um, their local Department of Social Services. Um, there are um, some low income energy programs that, that, that are have an open uh, application period right now. And there might be other programs locally for you that could assist. So you might think about calling two on one to see what might be available. Yeah, 211 is a great resource, a good starting point for any help that you might need. Uh, this person is also asking, my landlord doesn't have an email, so it won't let me enter that info into the HOPE program information. What do I do? So what I would encourage them to do is contact their case manager um, about the situation uh, so that we can try and work out what how best to handle that situation. Uh, this person says, Isaac, if a tenant has not paid rent in four months and has broken the terms of the lease, can the tenant be evicted? Well, so if the tenant has a uh, claim protection under the CDC moratorium by signing the declaration and giving it to the landlord, or if the tenant has applied for assistance under the HOPE program and been told by the HOPE program that they're eligible, it would be absolutely illegal for the landlord to try to evict that tenant for non-payment of rent right now. And I would caution landlords against doing that. If you know the tenant's protected under either the governor's order or the CDC moratorium, um, under each of those, it is actually a crime for the landlord to try to move forward with the eviction. And again, both of those orders have been extended through March 31st. Mm -hmm. This person is asking, do you have to have eviction papers to receive help from the HOPE program or can you just be one month behind and still need help? Unfortunately, right now, that program application is over, but the hope is that there will be another application process. That's correct, that, that, that is the hope. Um, so we, when, um, when applications were open, you did not have to be in the eviction process, you just had to be behind. And so um, that, that's how it was. Um, for the HOPE program that was, you know, when we had the application open in October and November. Um, and there are some different um, criteria that the federal government has set out around this new rent and utility assistance uh, monies. And so uh, it's yet to be seen exactly what someone would have to, what situation they'd have to be in in order to qualify. And I want to make sure in case people missed it that there is a new portal for anyone who is part of the HOPE program and you can go to this portal and you can upload your bills and put in information that may be missing from your application process. Someone did say that they received that email today. They tried to upload the utility bills and it failed to upload. Is there a possible glitch or is there a trick that they need to know? They need to make sure that they're using the right um, file type because there are only certain file types that will um, be allowed to be uploaded and there that is on the screen so make sure that when you take that picture that you're saving it in the right format for it to be uploaded okay great we have a little bit less than a minute isaac is there one um, thought that you would like to leave people with if they are facing eviction or having some issues in that way 
I want to again remind people that the eviction moratoria has been extended to March 31st to give tenants an opportunity to stay put and try to get more assistance. But again, it's not automatic. You have to do one of two things. You either have to uh, read the CDC declaration, sign it and give it to your landlord or um, and or apply for the HOPE program, which you can't do that piece right now because the application process is, is, is closed, but you still can use protection under the CDC order. So if you don't read the CDC declaration, sign it and give it to your landlord, you're not going to receive this protection. So people uh, should should educate themselves on that. Okay, and we have the helps for you, all of the links to Legal Aid of North Carolina and the HOPE program in the two wants to know section.